Right guys, I did have another video planned for today, but as I was opening the package, I realized I didn't quite receive everything that I'd ordered. Uh, so it's my seemingly monthly dispute with the classic football shirts to see if they can help remedy the situation. Um, I probably won't get a response until later this week, so there'd be no chance for me to upload on Tuesday, which is today of the video going out. Um, so once that gets resolved, I'll let you guys know. Uh, I don't really hold up much um, confidence in it being how I wish it to resolve because the shirt has fully sold out in every size. So it's either going to be a return or a refund or something. Anyway, luckily I have plenty more packages to open. So I thought, let's just uh, grab one of those and see what we have. Um, this one I'm going to open has two shirts and a little something else extra. So. Um, uh, a little bit of content today. So let's grab it. And it is another classic football shirts package, so just I just hope everything's there because I just can't deal with it anymore. Right then. So. Oh, usual one of those things. Trading card is Hidotoshi Nakata. I'm sure we've got plenty of him. Uh, let's start with the little bonus thing, shall we? So let's put that down. It is a Regina, or Regina, I don't know how you pronounce that properly. It's a uh, scarf. It's like a made out of silk. Um, would help if I actually held it the right way around as well. So the reason why I picked this up was because it was cheaper for me to buy it with the scarf than without. Um, with the scarf, it pushed me above the £50 threshold for free postage. Uh, and if it didn't, then it would be just underneath and I would have to pay the postage. And this scarf costs like £1.20 or something in the discounts. So uh, I thought, why not? Um, it is the thinnest scarf I've ever seen in my life. Like, that's not going to keep anybody warm. But it's... Uh, Quite fancy. I'm sure I could find somewhere to uh, to uh, hang it somewhere, I guess. Uh, but yeah, that's something. So, as for the shirts, we have... Well, one of them is literally not even packaged, just on its own. Which is... Amazing. They've now stopped packaging shirts. They're just throwing them in there. What is happening with these guys? Okay then, so this is the first one. Clearly nothing on the back there. Just your standard thingy. And then on the front, you have this one. So for those of you who are unaware, and it's I'll throw myself into that category, it is a Turkish shirt. I'm sorry, but it's just Turkish shirts uh, all over. The other shirt is a Turkish shirt. Uh, this one is Gaziantep. They are a top division, I think, Turkish team. This is a home shirt from 2018, 2019, so it's a few seasons old. I picked it up for about 29.99 or something to that effect. They have sold out in every size, so unfortunately, if you wanted to buy one, there are none left. This is the first and only time I've ever seen any of these shirts appear for sale in new condition. I'm sure there's been plenty of like match prepared, player shoe, super duper fun ones. Um, but yeah, this shirt is of course made by Nike. It follows quite a simple template. Uh, got your standard sponsor uh, and has, of course, the tags. Now, do I try and attempt to put it on the mannequin? Hopefully I can do this in decent speed so it doesn't take up all the time. Let's see if we can take advantage of this strapping young fellow. This is where I totally destroy one of my shirts, isn't it? Oh yes. I'm having to rest it on something because it's just not quite tall enough yet. Hopefully that's in shot. I think some of the bottom bit may be off, but here we go. Pretty cool, standard, um, nice, rare, unique team. Uh, as for the second shirt, this one's gonna be a bit of a, um, uh, an interesting one because it's manufactured by Deodora. Now, for people who have seen some of my videos, you may be aware that I'm just not a fan of Deodora. Uh, it doesn't help that all the shirts that I own from Deodora are kind of old and I'm not a huge 
fan of old shirts and specifically the Adara ones because they were just ridiculously tight and stretchy. Um, but maybe the new stuff is better. How do I get into this? There we go. Russell, Russell, Russell. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Okay then. So. There is the Rita, which has 55 yil, which I, oh yes, I think it says yil, which is, I know, it stands for year. So I can only imagine it's a 55 year special, which is kind of a weird number, isn't it? And then, this is the front of the shirt. So it's manufactured by Diodora, and the club is Bar Spore. And it's their current home shirt from 2020-2021. Uh, again, of course, it's Turkish. And for the shirt, it's kind of still elasticated, so it's stretchy, sort of similar to their older stuff, but a little bit more um, up-to-date in the methods, I think. Similar to maybe a Kappa shirt, does feel a little bit heavier than I would like. Like, I think the elastane does put a little bit more weight onto it. Um, I suppose it makes it a little bit more durable. So if that's what you like, then I'd probably grab one of these shirts. They, I think they have um, still most of the sizes in this and they've got the third and the away shirts also. So um, if it takes your fancy, go for it. If you want to try out a Diodora shirt, go for it. Um, there's a few more Diodora shirts which uh, appeared maybe one behind me. So I'm pretty satisfied. I think it's probably the best Deodoro one I own. Um, but and the design's kind of cool. Little half and half, red, white, gray. Everything, uh, the Deodoro logo's sublimated. The logo's wonderfully sublimated. And then the rest of it is sort of um, woven into the fabric. But I'm pretty uh, pretty pleased with that. For a uh, Deodoro shirt, I think that's... Uh, that's exciting going forward. So it's an option, I guess, now. Uh, but that's it. Two shirts and this silky scarf. Um, that's kind of it, really. I, I've got one shirt arriving at some point, but it's probably going to be the end of um, April when it arrives. So that'll be uh, sometime in the future. I think it's due I get a mystery box at some point because they're kind of fun, sort of. And of course, I've got two more shirts there. We're almost at 300. So I'm trying to figure out which is the best one to do uh, number 300 with. Uh, probably this one. This one's kind of uh, special. But that's it. Let me know what you think. Uh, which is the best shirt? Would you buy any of these shirts? What do you think of Diodora? Has anybody got any newer stuff? Do you agree? Disagree? Um, yeah, that's it. I will uh, see you next time. Hopefully I have a, a resolution from Classic Wall Shirts. Probably not going to be something I'm going to be quite... Uh, uh, enjoy because the shirt I bought is just it's beautiful. Uh, I'll still release the video regardless. But that's it. I hope you all have a good week and I will see you next time. Thank you for watching.